All right, today's the last day of the trial. We have to tough it out and show them our guts, win or lose. You seem a lot more driven than usual. Because I'm angry at Miss Tenshi? You got it. If she's looking for a fight, they're going to let her know that mine came out, uh, come, at a, uh, come at a steep price. I can't see that for shit. You're the one usually looking for a fight, at least when you go news hunting. What are you talking about? I'll tell you, I only window shop. It never really seems like it. Because I never show it. What good does that do? Okay, forget about that. Let's focus on the trial. We weren't able to cross paths with Miss Tenshi at all today, so we have no idea what moves she might make. We seem to have been on the defense for most of the trial. Right, we haven't tangled her with her for too long, so we still not used her to, to her tendencies and overall strategy. I can't imagine who she'd call for a witness either, especially for today. Greetings. It's the last day. Let's do our best. Yes, I hope this will come to an end without further incident. Without further incident? Huh. Wonder what that means. Indeed. The trial's starting, everyone. It's time to wrap everything up nice and neat. Today's the last day of the trial for Satori Komeji. And as there has been no, has been, as there has not been sufficient deliberation over the previous days, I hope that we will finally be able to provide this case with the scrutiny it deserves. The prosecution is aware, Your Honor. The defense is all ready too, Your Honor. Good, I will be counting on both sides today. First, does the prosecution have anything to say? Yes, the defense seems to have forgotten this one, this one fact. So I'd like to reinstate it for their benefit. Oh, what is it? That would be, the defendant has already confessed to her crime. Ugh. Yes, it's just as she says. Her disposition is so unusual that I had also forgotten. I will bear this in mind. Ugh, it's more like she was reminding the judge instead of me. I don't like the looks of this. She's not shafted the, she's, she shafted the float entirely in her favor with one line. Not bad at all. Now that our memories have been refreshed, let's start with having our lead witness give the testimony for today. Vero, show them to the stand. Um, what's the matter, Miss Tenshi? Is your witness not here? Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to psych out the defense a bit. But you're always doing that. I call this time to defend it, Satori Komeji. What? what huh? What is the meaning of this, of this, Miss Tenshi? Nothing major, I assure you. I have simply asked the defendant to help sway the defense's uns unsightly tenacity. Enough fooling around. The defense denies this witness. Oh, never mind. The only fool here is you. The defendant has assented, and so long as the judge agrees, why should she not testify? Or are you just chicken? Cut that out already. You have no room to say that. Her testimony could put us in an unfair position. We have a right to decide. Objection. Mr. Satori, please cease the struggle, Ms. Shamimaru. I've told you to not go beyond the boundaries I've set. Uh, and I wish to give my testimony, understand? This is bad, Aya. Alright, let's see. How? Let's see. If I resist now, yes, I won't hesitate to dismiss you. I understand. Please give your testimony, but on one condition. Hmm? If a certain person comes out in the following cross examination, I want you to overlook it just once. Very well, but only once. That's fine. You did it, Aya. That was my trump card. What are you talking about? I'm very sorry, Your Honor, but there must be some confidentiality between the defense and their clients. I would have appreciated such a conversation happening beforehand, though. Again, I apologize. The defendant wants to testify about reasons why we had to cut the trial short yesterday. I believe you explained how you were able to be cited, though you were acting by your subconscious. Precisely. Then please begin. Yes, Your Honor. The reason why I was cited is perhaps because I was not yet accustomed to having my third eye closed. As I was moving by my subconscious that day, I was able to enter the Scarlet Devil Mansion undetected. And while I was moving between the Devil's Scarlet Devil Mansion and the Memorial Shrine, my consciousness returned. In order to move undetected, I had to be in a subconscious state and control the subconscious of others. It was merely unfortunate timing that I was spotted. How was that, Your Honor? Yes, I understand now. As the defendant was not accustomed to her condition, she accidentally slipped back into her consciousness, causing her to be unable to use her powers and therefore noticed by others. Is that an accurate summary? And concise to match, Your Honor. That would be logical. I believe it would be plausible enough not to require it across examination. Hmm, you have a valid point. How is that a valid? 
Your Honor, the defense has the right to cross-examine all testimony, remember? Uh, yes. So how about we do this then? Defense insists upon cross-examining such uh, immaculate, well, if that's how you say it, in, whatever, testimony from their own client, no less. This must mean they clearly see a problem in it. It seems to me they should be able to get straight to the point, no beating around the bush. Hmm. What? Uh, yes, I agree. The testimony also seems sound to me, but the defense attorney clearly uh, knows something we do not know if they can, if they can claim to cross-examine it. Then, Ms. Shamiru, please show us where the contradiction is at once. I don't know how, but this turned into some kind of preposterous situation. No shit. You kind of have to, like, like you know, prove your client wrong. That's kind of weird. Hmm. I thought we told you not to point out the contradictions. Too late to start groping for hints. Alright, so what? So what? Uh... Okay. Okay, I'm running looting points. Just keep pressing for now. Same lines. It is moving though, it is moving. So, yes. Alright. I'm still tilted by Tenchi's voice. So tilted. It's just not what I'm used to. It's either Remelia or Patchley, not this new person, especially for the last uh, trial, supposedly, of this whole series. So, yeah. Horribly contradiction. Maybe if you stop getting in my way. Perhaps there is none. Can you do it, Aya? I can, I can take a wild guess for about half of it. And the other half? Bluff my tail out. Would that really work? We have to pull through this catastro catastrophe somehow. How about a defense? Uh, uh. Alright, there is. There is. This is. There is a contradiction. It is a matter of fact. There is a clear contradiction in the defendant's testimony. Eh? <laughs> really not, huh? Interesting. Then indicate where this contradiction is. Yes, Your Honor. I've narrowed out to one of these four, but which one could it be? Okay. So there's a contradiction in the line of testimony. Uh, there is. Of course there's a contradiction. Oh. And that would be... The insta instability of our subconscious state is a downright lie. What? But how can you make that statement? I would like to leave that aside from now and focus on the fact that her subconscious state was unstable. The defense is trying to mislead us by bringing out unrelated claims. Um, indeed, while that matter concerns me, it does not seem directly connected. I'm not misleading anyone, if you let me make myself clear. It's there, that's just a waste of time. How can you assert that? Fine then, give us your reasoning. If you're wrong, be prepared to pay the price. Right. Now, please explain yourself, Mish. Oh, okay. Uh, there you go. She purposely allowed herself to be seen. What? Huh? Well, what do you mean by that, Ms. Shamimaru? What I mean is that the defendant wanted to be spotted. But why? For what purpose? So that she could be put on trial. That was her intention. Uh, I'm finding it increasingly difficult to follow your logic. I can't understand a word you're saying. Your Honor, the defense is trying to throw the proceeding into disorder with their nonsensical babbling. But babbling is entirely sensical, if I may be allowed to explain myself. Yes, please do. Objection overruled. No! Continue, Ms. Shamimaru. Yes, Your Honor. First, she was cited as she moved from the Scarlet Dollar Match to the Moria Shrine. At that point in time, no one had yet discovered the unconscious misknowledge, so she let herself be seen as a strategic move. The fact that Mrs. Zaya saw her first was a complete co coincidence, but being seen by anyone at all would have done the job. But that would only create a mere eyewitness. That's right, however, it would be it would have to be someone who could easily call as a witness, otherwise it would really wouldn't work. Yes, I can think of a few who would give us problems. It's for the best that it didn't turn out like that. Absolutely. But in any case, she was seen going to the Moria Shrine. 
and then she was spotted at the shrine itself. That the way she had created two solid witnesses who could claim that they saw her. I presume she wanted Miss Moria or Miss Yashika to be witness, but yet Miss Koche was the only one at the shrine then. That was the purpose behind her actions. Hmm, I see your point now, but I believe the defendant would need a reason as well. That's right, if you can't show us why she did it, we aren't buying your idea. This is a crucial point. You see, it can be... Must be the later. It's not time for me to prove that. Really? I currently lack sufficient evidence at this stage to prove a reason. The process of unwinding a mystery is important or else it gets just gets even more tangled up. Well said. So let's have our defendant give us a step-by-step -step recounting of the attack. Is that alright with you? No problem. In fact, it's just what I was hoping for. On the day I entered the Scarlet Devil Mansion's library, undetected by manipulating everyone's subconscious so they wouldn't take notice of me. Once there, I waited behind a bookshelf until Miss Knowledge approached. Choosing a time when she was alone, I saw her consciousness using my powers. Afterwards, I left the mansion in a similar uh, manner, completely undetected. Does it make strife you as command about how she confesses to her misdeed? Quite, there's no further doubt in my mind. I will not hand down my verdict. Wait, 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 wait. Why? Can't you be a little quiet? Just let it end. I'll let me treat you to some nice tea. That's not the problem. What happened to my cross examination? Ah. Oh, if you excuse me, please go ahead. Wait a moment, Your Honor. What now, Miss Tenshi? The testimony is about as perfect as the previous one. In fact, I believe the defense thinks they have already found the contradiction. Therefore, I won't. won't I don't want them dragging out the trial with pointless questions. Hmm. Please stop making such selfish claims. Selfish, you should be grateful we're even letting you cross-examine your own client's confession. You did it last time, why can't you do it again? Enough! Miss Shemaru, I find the defendant's testimony to have sufficient credibility. I will consent to the prosecution's claim to hasten the proceedings. No, don't! Come now, time's a wasting. Grr, I'm starting the cross-examination. Alright, save? I haven't saved for a while, haven't I? Alright. Yes, I, I had not. I would have been unable to manipulate the subconscious of others. Stop asking questions. Rain all the answers to the two defense. Sustain. Let's see. Why did she approach you? I made noise to draw her attention. Defense, do you think how exact do you think how exactly she lured the victim matters at all? Stop objecting when I'm getting to the good part. Didn't you say that that was by chance? Only in how the opportunity presented itself. But Face the facts already, this is a direct testimony from the accused herself. Oh, stop getting in my hair. Where did you go afterwards? To the Moria Shrine. Do you've known that from the start? Would you please stop confirming every tiny detail? All you're doing is prolonging the trial. What's your deal? Come on, Miss Shamamuru. Why don't you show us that contradiction already? Why, you good for nothing, slime ball, earth quaking, shaking, so and so? What should what should you do? We can't budge an inch. All we can do is present something. That's the fastest point way to point out the contradiction. Hey, well, hang in there. Hmm, maybe that piece of testimony could come in handy there. Yeah.